Okay, so because people always ask, here is a quick tour of my office and studio. Ignore the mess. This was an old garage that I converted. Uh, this is the inside of the door. Of course, we have uh, pictures of friends and peers, things that make me happy. Um, it's the last thing I see when I leave the office every day and go back into the house. Up here are some more. Um, over here we have, that's a original sketch by Mike Hawthorne. That was a variant cover for the last zombie comic book. Um, here we have an original sketch that Chris Enterline did for Clickers. Here we have some, some GAC artwork. Uh, one of my favorite artists. In fact, his artwork covers my back in the form of a tattoo. Here's uh, the Scarecrow. One of Scott Edelman's first writing gigs for Marvel. He signed that for me. Um, here's just various book porn. This is a copy of Richard Layman's The Cellar. I bought it when I was 14 years old. He signed it for me uh, when he was at my house. First time he was at my home. He signed that. More book porn. We have pulps. We have a... Uh, Almost complete run of the Twilight Zone. Uh, up there, that horseshoe is from the set of Ghoul, the film adaptation of Ghoul. Down here's my vinyl. I'm getting back into vinyl. Let's see, what else do we have? That's an actual license plate uh, that belonged to uh, Mark Desum Silva, one of my pre readers. Here we have Robin Mead. Uh, I don't know if you can see the signature. It says, Ob commands me to send you this photo. So who knew? Robin Mead from the news reads The Rising. Here, of course, we have more book porn. Probably the, the only way to do it justice is if I back up. You have to, again, excuse the vacuum cleaner, but there, I think we've got floor to ceiling in this shot. I'm doing this on an iPhone, by the way. So yeah, there we go. This is uh, where we record. Here's where the magic happens. This is this is Dave's area. I'm not allowed to touch it. So this is this is how he makes us sound good every week. Um, all kinds of books. I don't know what you'd want to see. I pulled out a couple. Here's a uh, Richard Layman's A Writer's Tale. I know that that's very hard to find. A lot of folks have never even seen a copy. Uh, these are just various cards and things he sent me over the years. <laughs> I do that a lot. I've, I've got a, a Bentley Little book here stuffed with uh, Christmas cards he sent me. But Bentley's a very private person. I, I don't know that he'd want those out there. Here's, uh, well, that shouldn't even be out there. Some old Donald E. Grant, Robert E. Howard books. Um, oh, I know one that might interest all of you if I can find it real quick. Strange Roads, autographed copy by Arthur Mockin. Uh, this is very, very old, early century book. So for those of you who complain that, you know, all oh, these limited edition, signed limited edition hardcovers, you know, that's just some new scam. No, fuckwad. They were making them back then. Um, you know, more book porn. Here's uh, J.F. Gonzalez. Goes all the way over here. Here's... Here's one of the very first ebooks, Clickers by Jeff Gonzalez and Mark Williams. That's what ebooks used to look like back in the day. Um, there's Mary and I with uh, some of the folks from X Files. There we are in a set of Ghoul. That is Alan Clark's cover to the original first edition of The Rising up there. Um, there's Shocker Award, two Stoker Awards. Uh, in the background, there is Tim Levin and myself, Jeff Gonzalez and myself. Down here we have a, an Alex McVeigh original, uh, right behind the turntable. Yes, this morning I was listening to Grim Reaper's See You in Hell. Down here is just archives. These right here are boxes of stuff I'm getting ready to send out to my, my lifetime subscribers. More awards. Excuse the light bulb here. That's the Grandmaster Award. That's what that looks like. 
Um, more stuff, more stuff. This one's something I'm really proud of right here. Um, and that one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I appreciate every award I'm given, but but something like this. I mean, how do you? How can you even compare? There is a, there is Gax cover to four by four. That same piece of artwork is tattooed on my back. Um, here's uh, everything I'm working on right now. Some of these are in code, so you don't you won't know what they mean. Like kaiju, you, you no idea what that is. Um, love letters, you don't know what that is. But yeah, that's that's everything that that I'm working on from this this mess of a desk right now. Um, there's the Guitar made for us by Rob Herrera that you, you hear me play on the show sometimes. Uh, there's Joe Ripple, founder and CEO of Scares That Care. There is his action figure. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Let's back up again and get that side of the room. There's the Ghoul movie poster signed by the entire cast. More photos. Um... This is a this is a favorite of mine right here. That's Richard Lehman. That's a uh, Edward Lee Coop, who you hear on the air sometimes. Gerard Huarner, Holly Newstein, Hodla. That's a very young Brian Keene right there. Um, there's Tom Piccarelli, Jeff Gonzalez. Up here, lettered editions of my work. I'm soon going to need a bigger shelf for those. As you can see, I'm starting to stack them up. Uh, with Alex McVeigh's original painting for Tequila Sunrise and the limited edition of Urban Gothic. So yeah, that's it. One more quick pan. Oh, these are badges from every convention, every type of business thing I've, I've had throughout my career. So I couldn't even tell you what they all are. I think this was a uh, Fan Expo Toronto, uh, you know. Go to visit Dan Didio for the day at DC Comics. You get one of these. Uh, you know, Garden State Film Festival. Just, I mean, there's. This doesn't really do it justice, but there's a a ton of those in there. I don't know why I keep them, but I do. I'm a pack rat, as this video should have should have shown. So anyway, that's it.